Good morning, Jesus. Lord, thanks for watching over me last night. Thank you for this day of life you've given me again today. And I offer it to you, Lord, as my gift to you, for your will to be done in my life, for your glory and your service. And I ask this in Jesus' name. I lift my brother Anthony, his wife Rhonda, up to you, Lord, and all their family. Mark and Gail and all their family members. Judy and I and all our family members. And Mel and all his family. Vinny and all his family. And uh, my new friend Rosemary and all her family. And uh, Dennis Career and all his family. And I ask for special blessing on each and every one, Lord. Also, all the souls you've created, Lord. You know each and every one. You love each and every one of them. So I ask for a special blessing designed for them. In Jesus' name, I ask all this. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. It's inspiration time. It's inspiration time. Okay. And the words of today's inspiration go like this. Leave outcomes up to me. Follow me wherever I lead without worrying about how it will all turn out. Think of your life as an adventure with me as your guide and companion. Live in the now, concentrating on staying in step with me. When our, paths leads, when our path leads to a cliff, be willing to climb it with my help. When we come to a resting place, take time to be refreshed in my presence. Enjoy the rhythm of life. Live close to me. You already know the ultimate destination of your journey, your entrance into heaven. So keep your focus on the path just before you, leaving outcomes up to me. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, Bible support for this Word, uh, inspirational words were from Psalm 27, verses 13 and 14, and Exodus 15, verse 13. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Good inspiration today again. Okay? Leave outcomes up to Him. It's a good one for all of us. But since we travel through our day, many things will confront us, and uh, sometimes we'll try to take charge and uh, make the outcome what we think it should be. And yet he says right here, leave outcomes up to me. So no matter what happens, just say thank you, Jesus. <laughs> so if it's a trial, look for the blessings. If it's a joy, say thank you, Jesus. Okay? It's, it's going to be, he will control the outcome if you let him and give him permission. In uh, live in the now, staying in step with him. Okay? Not the future. Don't worry about what's going to happen tomorrow. He's already planned out tomorrow for you. And, uh, so you don't need to worry about it. When our path leads to a cliff, be willing to climb it with my help, not by yourself. This will be a much harder journey by yourself. With his help, you cruise right up. Okay, and when you come to a resting place, enjoy his presence and enjoy the rest. He says, I love the line, you already know the ultimate destination of your journey. Mine, yours, and every other Christian. Anyone who turns to Jesus, really, become a Christian. Your entrance into heaven. So keep your focus on the path just before you. Maybe outcomes up to you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Um, I'm going to get busy with my day. And, uh, and I might just be sitting here enjoying the Lord's presence. <laughs> and uh, I know my brother Anthony in promise. He'll be doing his thing with Jesus today. And uh, all my other friends, I know they work with Jesus every day. So, everybody, unwrap that gift he's given you today. Look for all the blessings. And uh, if you have a few trials, look for the blessings that are wrapped, wrapped around that trial. They're there. You will see him more and more every day in your life. 
All right, have a great day. Lord, thanks for being in my life. Peace, brothers and sisters. Bye-bye.